Hey guys, so I kind of rigged up the printer. I'm uh, going to try printing from the SD card and just see how it works out. I'm expecting it to fail miserably, but uh, I'm going to give it a shot here in just a moment. Uh, heating bed has already heated up to 75 degrees Celsius. The extruder is now up to 205 degrees. I've got to oil everything. So we'll see how it works out here soon. This is the first time it's printed. I have no faith in this whatsoever to be honest with you. <laughs> I uh, still need to hook it up to the computer and upgrade the the firmware and all that kind of stuff. So what I did is I just uh, went off onto Thingiverse, downloaded a little Martian keychain key thing just to do as a test print. Sliced it in Repetier with a slicer and it says it'll take 16 minutes to print. I honestly don't know if it will or not. I truly don't expect it to complete. Um, I didn't use any hairspray. I didn't use any uh, tape. Nothing like that on the on the print bed. So we're just kind of playing up by ear right now to see how it works out. According to this, it is 9% done already, so it's just supposed to be a very small print. Got my old cell phone. I picked up my got my old cell phone out the other day just to just to start recording this kind of videos for the time lapse and stuff. So I'm just going to film a little bit of it printing and then I'll post that along with this video. Starting to bridge between the two feet. So it's going to start printing the body now. So for the nerds out there, this was this is being uh, printed at 10% infill. Just trying to make the fastest print I can, just to see if it worked. Once again, I have no faith in this actually completing. And I am actually shocked that this went this far. This is the very first print this printer's ever done. Um, I just did some rough, I've been trying to do some cable management on it. The cables are horribly long. I got so disappointed earlier, I was ready to just walk off from it. I thought, well, I'll just go ahead and get the thing set up and see if it'll actually print tonight. I did not intend to print until possibly middle of the week. Got to lubricate all the rods and the uh, the threaded rods. All that stuff needs to be lubricated. I believe I need to uh, probably loosen and retighten the couplers for the Z-axis to get that uh, 
Make sure they're nice and straight. So it's 31% done already. As I said this is a very fast print. I changed out cameras at the moment. Uh, right now I'm using my JVC camera, a camcorder camera to record the overhead video. And I'm using my Samsung S3 to record the video on the print bed. I'm still shocked that it's stuck to that print bed. I believe this was 0.3 layer height, so it's not going to be a very nice clean print. The PLA that I'm using is the sample roll that was sent along with the printer. I started print, uh, working on this printer today at 12.10 if I remember right. I took a break shortly after 4 o'clock for about an hour. Got back on it at about, I'd say it was about 5.30 I got back on it. Um, I pretty much finished it at about 8 o'clock as far as getting the cables kind of straightened up a little bit and all the little finishing touches. I've got a lot of stuff I do want to print. I'm wanting to print a bracket so I can mount this somewhere on the unit. I don't like the setup they have right here, so I'm going to, nothing else, I'll make a box for to house everything so it would look halfway decent. But I am actually shocked that this thing is printing this well. Okay, so the power just died on it, which means something overheated. Power supply is warm, but it's not hot. The board on the back is warm, but not hot. So I'll have to do some troubleshooting on it and find out what's going on, but anyway, that's how much it printed. Thank you for watching, and I'll be seeing you guys soon.